another unbelievably beautiful morning. Can you tell I'm thankful? I am so thankful. Warm weather and sunshine. There's a lot that we're worried about, but there's even more that I'm thankful for. That's just the truth. I'm not making it up. The air is cool. The coffee is hot. Hey y'all, Matt here. I wanted to jump in and update the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera video. Now, many of you have watched that. I really appreciate it. Thanks for that, for the thumbs up and the comments. And that, you know, that was a pretty thorough video, but it's what, maybe close to a year old? I don't know, I'd have to go back and look. And since then, I've been tweaking and adding and changing, and I just wanted to update you, for those of you that watched that video, as to kind of what the setup looks like now and uh, how I'm using it. So you're seeing some shots and you have seen some shots in this video shot here in the last few days with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the original, the little bitty guy. So first of all, in regards to powering the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera the way I have it set up. I added a monitor, all right? This is a Feel World M5, so it's a small one. But here's the thing about it, okay? This is the thing about this monitor. It has a DC out. It runs off the Sony MPF style batteries, DC 8.4 volt out so that you can run power off this monitor through from this battery off this monitor directly into the camera. If you watched the first video, you know, I told you I had a battery problem. The batteries don't last long notoriously on this camera, but mine wouldn't even stay in there. You know, I had the battery adapter, which is, by the way, there's linked in this description, but this monitor is also linked in the description for you. I saw something down here that I wanted to try to get a shot of. Bedding bass, bass on a bed spawning. It's really hard to tell if I'm getting a shot of it or not. I'm trying to use the Blackmagic uh, camera and the long 7200 lens. There's bedding bass all over the place. And with these glasses, I can see them really clearly, but I don't have a polarizer on the lens. And so I don't think I can see it as clearly on the shot. We'll see. I went ahead and bought the Metabones Speed Booster Adapter made for the original Black Magic, uh, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. So the adapter is made for it from Metabones. It actually says on the top, uh, Metabones EF BMPCC. It works great on this little camera. The adapter with the Canon L series 24 to 105 F4 lens, which is a Stabilized lens. Uh, this is zoomed in at 105. Stabilizer off. And this is with it on. With the speed booster, it takes the F4 all the way down to about 2.5. It really is a very good setup. You actually can hand hold this if you wanted to. Uh, it's pretty light. Now, you wouldn't. I don't think be able to hand hold and shoot with this, with this long of a lens that isn't stabilized. Handheld at 70 millimeters, no stabilization. And this is me trying to shoot handheld at 200. Every breath I take jiggles. But with a wider lens or one that is stabilized, you could certainly, I think, you know, shoot effectively with this and it's pretty light. The updates for me since the last video are, I've added the five inch monitor on top of the camera, the small one, that is powering the camera as I use it. And I've added a better uh, speed booster 
in this case the Metabones that is made for the Black Magic. All this stuff is old and none of it's new tech, but it really works well. And so what is the end result? Well, because of ProRes HQ, I've shot everything in ProRes HQ. Because of that, this is what I've noticed. It is a huge crutch in color grading. You can push stuff all over the spectrum on those scopes and it doesn't break down. All the footage you've seen in this video that's shot on a Blackmagic is with this setup, either with the Canon 24 to 105 or the 70 to 200, one of those two lenses. Now, as far as audio, and this is what it would look and sound like, I presume, if you tried to vlog with the camera. I gave up on putting microphones on this thing. The preamps are so bad that even great microphones still don't sound good. So I gave up. So I'm just capturing scratch audio. May use it if it's an absolute must, otherwise not gonna use it. It is small and compact. It is not a pocket camera, but this is a full-on rig that I can use for any production, whether it's interviews or shooting B-roll. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do me a favor, subscribe and click that bell so you get notifications. Thanks again. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see y'all over there too. It's Radio Wyatt, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.